Guys, not the finish you wanted, but you put yourself in there and you gave yourself a shot, especially on that last hole. Just uh, obviously some disappointment, but you know you seem like you're in good spirits and had a good week. Just um, you know, where did it all change for you guys on that? On well, that yeah, back give night? credit to them. They they went out and played some good golf today. They made a lot of putts and hit a lot of good shots. And uh, I mean, first off, we we didn't get off the the best of starts, but those guys played well and uh, they. So he made the putt on the last hole, and we all had looks at it, and you've got to give hats off to them. But, uh, I mean, if you would ask us at the beginning of the week if we were the 12th ranked team we had a putt to go, <laughs> go extra holes, we'd be pretty happy about it. So I, we, we played good. The, putter, the putts just didn't drop for us today. Yeah, it was, it was, it was uh, good. We fought hard at the end. We made some good holes coming down the stretch uh, to get back to where we had a chance. And, um, I mean, you know, you finish second, you can't never, you're never disappointed about it. You know, you always, you always want to win, but uh, it's such a great week, what they do here with QBE and um, the guys, the Washington guys, the tournament they put on here to run. I mean, man, what a blast. I, I know I'll take this guy anywhere we go, for sure. Just talk about that chip in at 17 to keep yourself in it. Well, I saw two of them before, so I thought it was a little easier after watching Hoagie and then my first one. So uh, it's just one of those deals. I mean, that's things that happen in this game. It's it's crazy, the, the luck you need every now and then. and. The bounces and uh, you know they made a lot of shots from off the greens and a lot of long putts and those are things that need to happen to uh, to win golf tournaments and um, you know we played well and came up one short. Yeah, can you remember any sort of like a uh, such a fast momentum swing like like on 17 where it comes back to you and then you chip it in? Yeah, I mean I, I thought we were. I mean after after that, you know of course I started thinking okay this is we're gonna have a chance to win. For sure now, and uh, you know, Charlie said we had a chance to, you know, um, see he's made his putt, and we had two chances to make it. But uh, you know, that's the way it goes. What did you guys each see on your putts on 18? Too much break. <laughs> yeah, I, I felt that. Yeah, I had the right. I, I, I feel like I pushed mine. I hit mine right where I wanted yeah. to. It, it, I mean, back in that shadow, it was a tough read. I thought mine was going to go a little er, off the fringe, jet a little left a little earlier, and it maintained its head and. Once, once it was off the putt, I knew it was a little too far right. But it's, I mean, it's, it's, always, it's never the easiest putt when you know you have to make it. Yeah. And uh, that's what makes it you know, tough at times is when you're sitting over a, a 12-footer like that, no one, 15-footer, knowing you have to make it. And, um, you know, I didn't make it this time, but uh, there'll be another time. It's a fun event, and you guys come into it, you know, in a team event. But you're still playing for, for something. Looking ahead, how much can being in contention like this on a final day – do for you going forward? Yeah, I mean, I haven't had the best start of the year, but I mean, it was fun to be back in contention, feel the blood, feel that rushes and blood going that you are trying to do. I mean, obviously you're playing with a partner, but you still have it. You still want to win, and uh, it's nice. And you know, obviously you take you take every loss uh, and you learn from it and you see what you could have done a little bit better. And uh, I know I'm going to take that into the new season or new year, and uh, hopefully build some momentum off that and uh, keep going. And hopefully we see each other in the tour championship. Uh, this this week was huge for me. Um, you know, I've been working with that new putter for the last three or four tournaments, but the ball striking has been s to my it's so bad for me. And seeing the shots I hit this week, drove it well most of the week, and then uh, just my iron play was where I, I needed to be. And I told James, we got done. I said Sony Open can't get here fast enough. Um, but uh, you know, it's, it was a perfect week I needed for me for sure to gear up for 23 and um, not home to enjoy some time with the family and. Uh, I'm definitely uh, – Sony can't get here fast enough. Just one final one. For the second year in a the row, there's four teams that have finished 30 under or better this year and last year, and that's never happened in this tournament before. Do you, do you have an explanation for that? Is it just the, the weather or people – guys are getting better or – It's never going to happen again either. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Uh, no, I just think – I think when they changed that criteria a few years back on who's, who was getting in the event, uh, I think there's a little better, better quality of field and uh, – I mean, we, I mean all, all these guys can play, and all these guys are taking it seriously, and, uh, and that's the reason why you see guys 30 under par. Thanks, Bill. Yep. yep. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your time this week. Yeah, appreciate it all.